Hey, what's going on everyone? Tim here at Millennial Investments. Welcome back. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. First and foremost, if you find any of this information beneficial in any kind of way regarding your investments and trading, please show your support by simply liking and subscribing to the channel. That's all I can ask of you. In this daily trade review, we're going to be looking at GIK. Um, we saw a spike off of the 12 to the 1450 price levels moving forward and I wanted to identify some key levels to pay attention to that might play a part in the direction of the stock price um, and how you could potentially find a better entry on it if you're interested in getting into it. Um, so basically the level I want to point out to you first and foremost is the 1372 price level which is currently where the, the stock is priced at now and why this plays an important factor moving forward is due to the fact that it was previously support very strong support but once we broke below it is when we ended up trading down below these 1140 levels um as you see this today we broke above the 1450 after an announcement that the company would uh basically be expecting a merger partnership with lightning e-motors um and so the stock was up on 12%, seeing abnormal volume spikes and stuff like that. So, but what you need to pay attention to here, I'm not saying that this stock can't go, you know, to $20, $30 based on that partnership once the merger comes into play. Um, but I need to do my own DD on identifying exactly when that that merger news is, is, is expected to hit the market, excuse me. Um, but ultimately... I'm just focused on where the stock price is right now and the fact that we're running into these 1372 levels of resistance that were previously level support. And what I would have hoped based on today's breakout is that we would have bounced above it and stayed above it and continued moving higher to the upside. I will bring in my indicators here so we can kind of see what's going on. It's showing an upward momentum trend that it's trying to create on my EMA scanner here. Uh, but we are seeing some strong buying volume spikes here uh, as well as a very high selling volume to compensate for that but a little bit more buying than selling today uh and and i'm guessing that's based off the expectations of this merger like i said i need to do more dd before i speculate beyond that i just wanted to take the time out of the day to make sure that people are aware of these levels right here at the 1372 as you can currently see we're trading below that now i can go on the lower time frame and show you how it's traded along those uh levels right now and the fact that we could pull back a little bit here um, I'm not saying that a pullback's terrible. I'm just saying that it's possibly a better entry into the stock and something to be mindful of moving forward. Of course, fundamentally, I can't provide you inf any information on the company right now um, as they haven't reported much. They're a blank check company, so they're willing to invest in whatever private, government-based, or even some public companies in order to basically um, accelerate them. This is something like an acceleration company, uh, incubator company, if you, you will. Um, but the, I really want to point out this key level of resistance that we're running into, and it seems to have issues staying above. But also on the flip side, the fact that we are working to stay above it and it's showing momentum to gain the ability to continue higher. So keep in mind on that key level right there. And something I want to point out is where this could potentially top out at. And I would like to point out the fact that we could top out around the 1564 until that merger is confirmed. So even if we find that 1372, let's see how it reacts to these 1564s moving forward. Um, other than that, you know, I'm just providing you with the technical analysis. I haven't really dove into the DD behind the company to uh, speculate on a price target in the end for this stock. But um, if you have any feedback or questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And also, if you find any of this information beneficial in any kind of way regarding your investments and trades, please be sure to show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. And uh, I'll be glad to continue doing trade reviews moving forward. You can always leave a comment below if you want us to do an individual trade review on a stock you're interested in, in investing in yourself. Other than that, I hope this was beneficial for you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. I look forward to continuing to provide review videos such as this one just so we can identify our key levels, understand the trend analysis and how these stocks are uh, reacting to these certain key levels and finding better entries and things like that. Other than that, thank you. Good luck trading and have a great day. Thank you for watching.